Hello, and welcome to Musher's Tales. Nice day today. A bit of a wind. Not hot, not cold. No bugs because of the wind. So uh, we had a few days of rain. So what we've decided to do is uh, we're going to float down the river. Shoot a few rapids. Have a little ride. So uh, we're going to take our, our boats out and everything. Here's my canoe rack. I have a few boats. And uh, we're taking this one here. It's a, an old Coleman canoe, a pelican. Pol pelican, excuse me, a pelican or Coleman canoe. And a plastic boat, so it doesn't matter if you ding things up, you're not going to sink it, you're not going to break it. So we'll be, wife and I will be getting, taking this. And uh, my son's coming with his son. And he's going to be taking a, a kayak, a bathtub type kayak, because it's safer. Can't flip it, can't sink it. So a little man will be safer than that as you go for a float. It's not a particularly uh, tricky river or anything like that. Never very wide, never uh, an extreme, you know, extreme rapids. I mean, at certain parts there are, but not where we're going. Where we're going, the, the, the trickiest rapids in R3, there's only one of them. Uh, maybe a few R1s, maybe an R2. If you go lower, you go higher, then it's different. But uh, leaving from where we're leaving to where we're at, it's, it's you know quite easy, quite doable in the canoe for pretty well anybody. Just have to be careful in certain spots. Some spots are shallow. And uh, when you flip a canoe, it's fast. You know, we uh, haven't flipped in a few years, but last time I said we hadn't flipped in a few years, all of a sudden we're going and boom, we flipped. It's usually in shallow water and you hit a rock at a wrong angle and you're in the drink and you end up losing stuff. So don't want that to happen. So we're going to pay attention. I mean, it's, it's quite relaxed. Should be a beautiful day. Not even bringing any uh, bug dope or anything because uh, there's a good wind. Not expecting the flies to be a problem. Haven't used any bug dope uh, so far this year. Got bit, got covered up, but uh, before we use bug dope, it's gotta be pretty bad. And so far it's been pretty good. Since we're going down river, one of the first things we have to do is we have to bring, uh, bring the truck down river and come back up. Because obviously when we get to the end, we have to get back. Uh, it'll be about uh, six or seven kilometers, I figure. I know I've never really measured the distance. A couple hours, a couple hours of floating, canoeing. Only one really good rapid, uh, smaller rapids, which is one R3 near the end. So uh, we have to actually bring two cars down because when we're down uh, where we're gonna get out, we have to be able to bring uh, the little man back up. So we need a car seat. So uh, the wife and I will be going down Meeting my son, who will, and then we'll drive all back here together to take off from the yard. So we're going to leave Ashley from the yard. So uh, we're at the takeout point, waiting for my son. We go under the covered bridge and make a hard right and take out right here. thing to remember if uh, you ever do rapids or you ever flip in a canoe it's whatever it's hold on to the paddle whatever you do you never let go of the paddle or your life jacket never let go of the paddle and if you can hold on to the boat but the paddle is more important than the boat because you'll always find the boat later and if you have the boat without a paddle you're in a pickle so it's called hold on to the paddle point your feet downstream even point your toes to the sky you don't want your feet dragging, because if your feet drag and you hook underneath a rock or a branch or something, then you're in big trouble. So you keep your toes out of the water, feet pointed downstream, so if you hit anything, you hit it feet first, not back first. And you don't tangle with your life jacket or anything. But uh, sounds like silly advice until you need it. So waiting for our ride, and then we head back to the house to take off. Sunglasses are important too, to uh, so you can see underneath the water a bit, especially uh, in case you, to avoid rocks and stumps and whatever. And also a uh, good pair of shoes, something on your feet that you're not gonna lose. Because obviously, if you do flip and things go to, go to shit, well then uh, you're gonna be walking out for a bit. So uh, you have to have your feet covered up with something. So you don't wanna lose any shoes. So something that straps on pretty good, but that's gonna get wet. 
doesn't weigh a ton. The nice thing about this little expedition is its simplicity, like we're leaving from the house, so bringing a baler, life jacket, something to drink, it's gone dog, and uh, three paddles, two of them are uh, to paddle with and the third is uh, a spare, because you don't want to be up the creek without a paddle. A lot of traffic today. Uh, holidays uh, started uh, yesterday last day of school so everybody's on on the get-go so an awful lot of traffic so it'll be nice to get on the river and we'll get away from some of it uh, for a while we're gonna be beside it for a while but we'll get away from it for, for a while so we should see you on the river in their face it's usually how it goes wind in your face it's kind of a it's actually a west wind so it's not going to speed us up we're going to have some rough paddling at the end when there's not enough current but if there's enough current it should be okay we're going downstream You better paddle. You better paddle hard. <laughs> what are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? There we go. So if Papa floats on his back, the little man will be on his back too. You want to go forward or behind? Oh, I, I prefer going forward, backwards. Behind, I won't be able to see anything. Oh, you funny guy. Yeah. No, just when you do rapids. Just for the little guy, that's why I'm asking you. Because, uh... When we get the real rapids, I'll go in front. Okay. That way, if it happens, Wow. That's what I was thinking. And that's only going to be past Britain all the way. Now we're gonna hit a spot with no water. This will probably be the, the trickiest spot because there's no water. We'll bump a bit. After this, there'll be plenty of water. Well, it's pretty windy. It's going to be a problem. Paddle hard. You have to hug the side of it. Okay, stop. You have to hug the side.
Well, so far we haven't really hit. Stay low. Okay, there we go. We're good. We just have to head towards the side and we'll we'll be through. Yeah. Okay, hold on. We'll hit the right a little bit harder. Okay, hold on. Yeah. No, no, uh, we've, we've had... You alerted me to it, thank yeah. you. Which way? It's gone well, but we've had a couple of close calls. Your mom's hat flew off, I found it. I got it just going by. And then we swept too far to the left. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, just like right where he, he's going, we're fine. Just let's just drift. Might hit a rock right here. Watch your, don't let your paddle jam. There we go. Just let's just float. Okay, we're good. No, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a Meganzer. <clears throat> a Meganeezer. Let's go see Mr. Moo Moo. River gets wide here, several channels, and uh, we've learned through trial and error to stick to the right hand side. We have to hug that leaning birch. side really tight. Stop. Okay, go, 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 go.
Okay. Here we're coming up to uh, a good rapid. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind. We've never done the river so windy. Usually you can drift down with the current, but not today, we'd be going backwards. So this is, yeah, these are these, the V-Rapids, it's an R3, Katzlin, I want him to go in front of us so we have enough room to see what happens to them. And there's enough water, so we might take in a bit of water, but it should be good. Oh, he's going to get wet for sure. Okay, slowly because I want him to be in front. We don't want to catch up. We don't want to go past them. We want to be able to go towards them if something goes stupid. Okay. Have your 35 feet here too, because look at that hill. Yeah. I think we're gonna. Oh. I have a baler. I have a baler. Do you want the baler, or you want to get out? Or the short. <laughs> okay, stop, please. Okay.
that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's just so we could do with a little bit less wind. Oh, we went, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, no, we were fine. We did, well, actually, I think we did more. There's a deep pool right here. Oh, there are a whole bunch ahead. Whole bunch ahead where? Going through the rapid? Yes, they're way ahead of us. Way down there. They drifted down the current maybe. The wind, we're almost not going down the, the current. It's right here, there's a rock, eh? No, no, we're going. We're going to cut it across. We're not cutting across too sharp. We're cutting across so we're advancing more. All right, now we're going. Well, that's why they're digging up the property. Oh. One heck of a wind. This is the windiest we've ever done it. We have a kilometer left. And, uh, oh, holy smoke. Yeah, usually you just kind of drift. You're not doing any drifting now, it's hard paddling. If we didn't paddle, we'd be going backwards upstream. There's actually white caps on the water. Like just a barber. <laughs> yeah. So we go under and then you hang it right. Actually, we have to take the V a bit more, right? Eh? Huh? We have to go in the center a bit more. Once we're through, we'll just rudder.
Not too much, not too much. We'll get through. Okay, we're gonna pull a Yui. Keep on, that's it. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Keep on. Okay, good. didn't exist. Uh. So we're landed. That's it. Till the next time. Thanks for watching.